welcome back to another one. Today, 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 boys, is a special one because today is Canada Goose Opener finally here in Kansas. And what's pretty crazy is I just stepped out the front door and I went, what the heck is that? And all I can hear is Canada's moving in, sitting down on our roost pond, probably about a mile away. We have a big cold front sliding in from the north and it's shoving down birds right now and it's just in time because Canada Goose season just opens up today. How ironic, right? Yeah, me too. I'm like, what the heck? That worked out perfect. Pretty awesome, the first thing you hear when you step out the front door is just a big old flock of Canadians. But today we're gonna be heading out west, an hour and a half drive out west. Preston, Noah, all them guys that you haven't seen forever, they're all gonna meet us there too. But I wanted to show you guys, we have a ton of these little fella lanyards in stock. They're our cheapest one, and honestly, I like them almost the best. We have that little ducks band right there, oh. I like them the best, they're small, they tuck out of the way, if you want to pick up any of these lanyards, I'll link them down below, down in the description, and down at the top of the comments if you want to pick them up. But enough talking, with hour and a half drive, I mean, it's going to be a long drive, fellas. Let's go. Well, we're on the road. We just left the quick shop, and I got all my goodies. Found these little snack sticks. Oh, got some jalapeno pork action going on. Oh, yeah. We are here, hour and a half drive. Goodness sakes. And uh, I forgot to tell you guys, it's going to be like a 13-man hunt today. Cameron was like, this field is absolutely stacked. We need men. Well, well, everybody's extremely busy already, and I can tell you we are going to be sitting over, well over 60 dozen full bodies today. Uh, probably 50 dozen snows and 25 dozen Canada's. So, oh, and the work begins, boys, and the work begins. You ready to work? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. You've been shooting them ducks. You've been doing that public duck action, haven't oh, yeah. you? Yeah, killing public land ducks. You ready to get on some land, some field hunts? Oh yeah, I'm ready to not be standing in the marsh. That's oh. the worst. Oh yeah. yeah. What'd you guys buy? Disgusting. You guys buy the whole lot? The whole lot, man. The Good lord! Eight hundred full bodies and some silos all accumulate into about uh, twelve hundred decoys. Check it out. Oh man, it's literally a sea of decoys. This is the left side. This is our long leg. The wind is coming like this, so this is our wall to stop them. This right side goes out just a little bit. Basically, we just ran it out straight. So here's the kill hole in front of us. This is where we'll be sitting. Just a little back yonder where the boys are. Woo! Well, it is extremely cloudy. Uh, visibility on the old camera here is very low. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to have to wait to run the old GoPro. So we're going to be left with the big camera, and that's about it until we get some good light. So here we go. Where you been? You ain't been hunting with me lately. Where you been? No, I've been schooling. Yeah. Old Preston, he's been doing good in school. He, he said, you know what? Hunting can wait every now and then. He's got to do good in school. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, look at him doing it there. Well, the wind really, really, really picked up, so you see them, they're just bucking trying to get into the spread, so the wind is... Oh, 
smoked that dude. Was that you? Might have been. Was that you? I think so. <laughs> What'd you bring? A lot of fours. Hey, no, I'll give you back this uh, box of heavy. <laughs> oh my, look at these birds still coming while he's picking up. Look at this. Holy smokes. Uh, you only have three and a half inch? I got three and four. I'll take those. I'm going to take some of these and put them on my... Oh boy. Coming right over the top, boys. Oh my goodness. Uh. Oh. oh my goodness. Smokes. Well, I've only shot like one time. It's still really low light. The GoPro is not liking it, so. Hope you guys are enjoying the uh, big camera footy, but it's time for your boy to do some damage. <laughs> Come on, keep coming, keep coming. Oh, here they are, here they are. Down a couple there. Kind of a long shot. We're looking at about a 35, 40 yarder here, but still fun. Ooh, but look, check out the new gun. Ooh, she's looking good. Oh, he's got himself a present, oh. Well, we've been picking up birds here and uh, the birds just keep piling over this field. I mean, so many birds out here, it's unreal. This is why Cameron wanted to sit, sit this big old spread. Oh, duck's doing it, duck's doing it. Uh oh, we got some pintails, boys. We got some pintail action. bit of a long shot but ducks die easy that's that's for certain so my gun man I need an extended choke for this bad boy I need a full or an improved mod they're actually sending me one so I can't touch them geese that far away very well oh look at them the three want it bad boys Nice boys! Good shooting! Was that all you? Duh. <laughs> oh, happy dogs. Happy dogs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Some running. Wow. So is everyone done that way? The amount of birds here is just unreal. Holy cow! Whoa.
Holy smokes, that's a lot of birds, boys. Wow. They're landing over here. I don't know, probably 300 yards away from the decoys. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh goodness. Well, a little midday update here. Just dropped the uh, first white bird. Uh, first one down that I've been a part of. Pretty neat. But uh, there's so many specks here. It's hard to uh, it's hard to even get the wad over here. There's so many birds. I mean, the specks just are everywhere. It's galore. There's white trickled in. There's some Canada's trickled in, which is hard to uh, get the Canada's in enticed uh, because the specks just overpower them so much. So, I mean, the specks just give it up. Look at that, 20 foot. Oh, I haven't seen you for a while, man. Oh, no, it's been like a year. Nice. Well, a couple cans died, a couple Canada's. Here we go. First ones to come to the spread in a while. We haven't had a Canada even give us a look. We've had to pass on group after group after group because every group is specs. All these specs, we're just watching. We, that's all we've been doing is just watching this forever. This is the first time I probably picked up the camera in probably, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes just because it's been nothing but this specs. Giving it up. See you later. <laughs> they said hi. Yeah, true. They did stop and say hi, didn't they? Nice of them. <laughs> There's some lessers down, boys. Man, I gotta get a choke in this gun. Woo, well, finally, some lessers actually did it. I mean, it took forever to get into the lessers. Finally, a pile came. We clucked our butts off. There was probably five or six of us just jamming on them. Took all we had to get them to the blind, but they gave it up, and we killed probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably 10 or 12, looks like. That was nice. But here's the spread. I'm sitting in the kill hole. That's uh, that's the blinds back there. Nice and big. One big old you. Bunch of white. Bunch of white full bodies today. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Huh? Finally. Finally. Big flock. That was a big flock. What time you got, Noah? 922. 922? Yes, sir. 922. That was the first shots taken probably in 30 minutes. It's been a while. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> the geese literally just boned out. It's the first time all day we haven't had just a water geese working over us. Crazy day, awesome. Bunch of birds out here, crazy. Go on, go on, so, go on, sweetie. Go on, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Dad. Specs, more specs, just doing it right. These specs. Well, we're finally picking up the spread here. We waited out long enough. We've all been freezing our butts off. The temperature dropped like 10, 12 degrees from this morning and the north wind picked up. And uh, I can tell you, this is the uh, coldest I've been all season yet. Hasn't been getting very cold, but today, your boy got cold. My hands were gone, my feet were gone. <sighs> yeah, just cold, cold. Luckily, we're in the A-frame and it did uh, block a lot of the wind, but. We're out here picking up. Got a lot to pick up yet. <laughs> oh boy. By the way, if you guys want to come to Kansas and experience these big old white hunts like this, get a hold of Cameron. Follow Cameron on Instagram right here at Wing Chasers. Shoot him a DM and book your hunt. He does a lot of conservation snow goose hunts when the spring rolls around. So, if you want to kill snows in the uh, spring, get a hold of him ASAP. What's up, buddy?
Well, we are back home and let me tell you what an awesome hunt that was. Wow, I mean, Cameron and the guys from Wing Chaser really knocked it out of the park with this field. I mean, absolutely loaded. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of birds came that day. And like I said in the video, we had like 5,000, 6,000 birds in the field just hovering, landing 300 yards away, literally all day up until about 9.30. The fly line that Cameron is in out west is just that. It's the dominant fly line of Kansas, and that boy is right in it. He has so many lease fields in it. If you guys want to book with him, you need to get a hold of him again right here. Plus, he just built a brand new lodge. I mean, it's extra nice. It's got like three to four bedrooms, full renovated kitchen. I mean, the whole thing is absolutely brand new. But real quick, I do want to thank a couple partners of mine. I'd like to thank Dive Bomb Industries for always keeping me stocked with their fresh new decoys. Thank you. And I would like to thank Retail USA for the new shotgun. I absolutely love it. I finally got the choke in the mail. It's in the mail now. And I can't wait to use that bad boy. And especially a big thank you to Ducks Waterfowl. Without Ducks, I could not be here doing videos for you every day. There's just no way. <sighs> but most of all, most importantly, above all, thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my viewers. Thank you for to anybody that has purchased Ducks Apparel. Whenever you purchase this, it goes directly to supporting me and bringing you guys more videos. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank all my viewers out there. If you've given me a thumbs up, if you've subscribed, if you've purchased something, thank you. And I just want to let you guys know, all of the olive gear that I've been wearing, plus them thermal duck sweats, oh yeah. I'll link it all down below in the description. If you want to pick any of it up, it'll be down there. But thank you all again for being here. We will see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace.